Um, I intend to be brief. I think this is a very welcome bill that's provoked the appropriate conversation and debate in relation to the required urgency for when uh, we have a transition of government or potential transition of government. And I think urgency is what's been absent and probably motivated by urgency. When we consider the last two, the 33rd and the 32nd doll, at the very beginnings and well into the several months on, there was an absence of urgency. There was posturing, there was political game playing, there was people making political statements to take shots at the rivals and tell us all the reasons why we couldn't work together, when actually what we needed was a degree of leadership. And that was particularly prevalent during this particular 33rd doll, when the electorate went out uh, with an enormous sense of urgency. When we think back to the era, to the time pre-COVID-19, when the issues was our hospital crisis, an absence of childcare, all of the issues that we faced on the doors and which people all over Ireland went out in their droves to, and it almost seems like a cliche now, but to vote for change. And with that excitement brought new voters into the public sphere, people who hadn't vote, were voting for the very first time in their lives went out and thought that it made a difference and that the makeup of the doll that they would see next would reflect the urgency and the change by which they voted for. And then what happened and what materialised was something that was a little bit um, frustrating, certainly constitutional and absolutely no way untoward constitutionally, but to a voter who was um, eager to see their vote represented in the doll there and they couldn't understand why the same ministers are in the same place and that's absolutely fine. Um, but this particular bill here, I think it's an interesting bill. I agree with Deputy Tobin in the sense that there's no reason this couldn't progress on to the third phase, uh, the third stage of the committee, and we could have a further discussion and a further debate about many of the kind of concerns that we have. I anticipate that Deputy Tobin, when he wrote the bill, understood the current constitutional um, situation which has been referenced by the government side of the House, but that's why we bring forth bills and that's why we bring forth legislation. And so, for my part, with an acknowledgement that the 150 days by which it took us to form a government has implications and societal implications. People lose confidence in the political system. I think that's quite dangerous. And um, the idea that now it's become almost a norm that we have a brinksmanship, and I think the only thing that should happen after a government after a, an election is that political parties should get around the table and decide if they can agree on. Um, forms of taxation and how that taxation is spent and on policy. And if we can deliver upon that, then that should be the reason by which we form a government. And in the absence of that, what's happened over the last two election cycles is it's been people posturing who actually fundamentally agree on everything, but politically posturing, and it's been to the detriment of um, the public will and public probably public interest also. So I think this conversation is definitely worth having. I would like to see the bill progress into a committee stage and as such I will be supported. Thank you.